Here's a good question for you. Where do you think a major Android device ranks in the top 10 of Google's search trends for consumer tech? You might be surprised. Fourth, that's right, fourth. Android's biggest, most hyped, largely successful Android device, the Galaxy S8, ranked fourth in Google's consumer tech search trends for 2017 sort of is a jolt of reality and reminds us that we live in a little bit of a counterculture that even something as massive as the S8 isn't as mainstream as we might have thought. And what's ranked one and two? Yeah, Apple. First up is the iPhone 8, then the iPhone X, followed by Nintendo Switch, and then Samsung Galaxy S8, followed by Xbox One X, Nokia 3310, the Razer phone, Oppo F5, OnePlus 5, and Nokia 6. Now on to some good news surrounding a newer phone that could be a promising entry-level smartphone. According to the Tenna listing, the Honor 9 Lite sports an 18-9 aspect ratio, a 5.65 inch 2160 by 1080 resolution that has two cameras on the front and two cameras on the back. Both arrangements feature a 13 megapixel primary sensor coupled with a two megapixel sensor with the secondary sensor presumably aiding the primary sensor to create portrait images. Elsewhere, even though the Tenon listing only mentions an octa-core chipset at the heart of the Honor 9 Lite, Odds are the chipset is Huawei's in-house Curin 659. The processor is paired with either 3GB of RAM or 32GB of onboard storage or 4GB of RAM with 64GB of onboard storage, though a microSD card slot is present. Finally, keeping the lights on is a 2900mAh battery that is recharged through the phone's micro USB port. The Honor 9 Lite could be priced around $200 putting it in Honor 7X territory. We'll find out more on December 21st when Honor is slated to hold a press event in China. And finally, the tech sector has not escaped the wave of sexual allegations, specifically when it comes to the father of Android itself, Andy Rubin. After taking a leave of absence less than two weeks ago, reportedly due to, quote, personal reasons, Essential founder and Android co-creator Andy Rubin has returned to the company. If you recall, it was reported that Rubin had an inappropriate relationship with a female colleague while he still worked at Google. The search giant reportedly looked into the situation in 2014, since it has a policy that forbids relationships between supervisors and subordinates. Google concluded that Rubin's conduct was, quote, improper and showed bad judgment, unquote. An essential spokesperson said that Rubin was, quote, never told by Google that he engaged in any misconduct, while he worked at the company. Now it was reported by Recode that Andy Rubin, although officially took a two week leave of absence from Essential, Essential shares the same workspace as Playground, another project run by Andy Rubin. So he really didn't take off any time at all. Even if he did take off two weeks, I don't really know what that does. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter.